In the old days, when I was a youngster, engines were great big blocks of steel. Today, they're very, very small units, all aluminium, very light, producing four or five times the horsepower that those old engines produced. This type of engine today produces the same amount of power as a 40-ton lorry did when I was a young lad. So you can imagine how hard the oil has to work to keep these engines performing how the engine designer intended it to. You'll see the cooling valves, the jets that spray oil up underneath the piston to keep the piston cool. Very little metal between the combustion chamber where the temperature is 1600 degrees C and actually the oil underneath it. And the oil there is to take that heat away, take it out and it goes through an oil cooler and then recirculate it through to make sure that these pistons don't buckle and there make the engine fail. And so it gives us uh, the opportunity now to try and educate people of the real importance of engine cleanliness in terms of uh, how the oil works, takes those uh, particles away, stops them forming on the walls and then takes them harmlessly away at the next oil change. If you look at an engine oil, the formulation is made up of three major components. One is what's called a base stock, and that comes in various types from mineral oils through to synthetics. And then you have an additive package, depending on the performance level required, is what they call heavier, so there's more additives in a higher performance oil than is a low performance oil. And then on top of that is what's called a VI improver, and that gives you the viscosity, so it keeps your viscosity constant. And those three things make a formulation. Now, it depends on the art of the formulator, the same way as it depends on the art of the chef, what the oil tastes like to the engine. Like great chefs make a nice meal for people who appreciate it, but a great formula maker makes a great engine oil that engine will appreciate. In Helix, we work closely producing our own base stocks and we make our own formulations. Rather than just buy them in, it allows our own chefs, if you like, to be able to make the oil that we require to do the job that we want it to do. We visit the car manufacturers on a regular basis to see where they're going in the future. Researchers go and talk to the engine designers, engine builders, to find out where their problems are and what we might be able to do to help them. Because it's not about what they're doing today. For us in research, it's about what they're doing tomorrow. The customer, at the end of the day, wants the joy of driving the vehicle. And that's what we're all here for, is to try and make sure that they get the maximum amount of enjoyment out of their engine for as long as possible. And that's why we take great pride in uh, developing the Helix formulations we do.